A day after the collapse of a three-story building killed one during casting, the environment here remained hostile. I stopped the interview. Why would well, you? Make everybody can stop the interview. Friends, you know why, what you do? Why, I beg why you go. I respect you a lot. Wait, but why won't you allow him to do I beg you, Lord. I'm not going to make him do the interview. Why? Friends. He was not here when that thing happened. Why are you doing the interview? A man from nowhere, believed to be a land guard according to residents, barged into the news team, stopped us from engaging a resident who witnessed the collapse of the building leading to the death of one person and injuring some. You are safe you do interview, you can uh -huh. do interview, but you no go do you no go fit why? interview. Why? Why miss? Why has a longer tail? Okay, uh, is it because a three-story building was put together in in like two weeks, and you think it's okay? You think it's okay for something like that to happen? Residents say this kind of intimidation has been common since the collapse of the building. Imagine a three-story building being put together in just two weeks. An appalling experience being described by eyewitnesses and residents. Uh, some people has uh, passed on one guy as the security of the company, this company, mm -hmm. and five people were injured, mm. died yesterday. Though the site has been marked by the Ghana Police Service to avoid people from accessing the area, all debris were cleared in less than 13 hours before daybreak. Members of the Ghana Institute of Engineering who visited the site to ascertain the extent of damage were astonished. The site seems to have been cleared overnight, so it's difficult to even appreciate uh, what kind of uh, structure was being uh, uh, put up. But uh, we want to reiterate that uh, this kind of incidents are uh, things that shouldn't happen at all if professionals are used. And the law, which is the Act 819, uh, makes it clear that the professional engineering practitioners should be used in all construction projects. Eyewitnesses say workers were hired to clear the space throughout the night. The accident raises further questions about the insurance of permits and supervision of construction work in Ghana. The Lang Pantanan Medina Municipal Assembly is responsible for granting permits in this neighborhood, but efforts to get answers from them proved futile. Wise Ametafe, a registrar with the Engineering Council, says the controls must be tighter. Maybe the developer did not go through the requisite uh, uh, processes to have the building approved. You need time for the concrete even to cure. You can't just continue and have three-story building in two weeks' time. No. If you go through to the root and he is found to be capable, we will bring him to book. We can either sanction him or take him to court. For five consecutive times in four years, I've been here at the Ghana National Fire Service to find answers as to why they haven't been able to acquire a rescue tender since the institution was founded in 1997. Well, did you know that if there's a road crash and victims are stuck in a car that has been crashed, it is the responsibility of the Ghana National Fire Service to cut through to be able to bring out these people safely? Well, one of the unfortunate incidents that has actually climaxed it all for me is the one that happened on May 1 in Medina where a three-story building structure collapsed on workers. Unfortunately for some of the workers, one of them died and it was a tedious task for the team of the Ghana National Fire Service to be able to cut through the debris to bring this person out. Well, they were not able to conduct the exercise on time because they didn't have the right equipment. Probably a life could have been saved. In our situation, as of now, we don't have a complete rescue tender. What we have is the fire tender that has some amount of rescue equipment in. So you get to incidents like this, and um, it is a bit difficult to carry out the rescue operations. We don't have the necessary equipment to extricate and bring the victim out. So we have to go in for an excavator from a private firm. So that was what we were able to uh, employ to retrieve the body. Godwin Asideba, TV3, Accra.